Hey there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is a hydroponics update. Now this is going to be quite an important hydroponics update because I'm going to be making some significant changes. Now uh, if you've been watching the hydroponics videos that I've been doing before, it's all been going sort of so-so, nothing sort of to get too excited about. Uh, I think you know the best results I've got so far are these two big tomato plants here and uh, they've just recently started growing again since we've started having the uh, the good light come back. But um, I've never been that comfortable with using the, the rock wall system. So um, what I've decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the whole system, but the changes I'm gonna make are I'm actually going to completely remove, or not completely remove, but I'm gonna get rid of the, the big blocks of rock wall, and I'm gonna go over to something called Hy uh, hydroclear or hydraulica, hydraulica. I have no idea how you pronounce that, but I happened to get hold of a bunch of this, and uh, the intentions is, um, or the intention is, to actually fill up these troughs with purely this stuff, and actually to grow out of that. So, if you guys want to watch, I'm going to get on and do that now. Okay, so we're now cleaned and emptied. I've given it a good wipe down. And uh, what I need to do now is install some barriers. The idea behind this new system is the idea is it's like a flood and drain system where uh, about four times a day, I'm gonna get the, the whole thing to fill up with water and, uh, and then drain away. And I'll do that like four times a day. Now, what I've got to do, obviously, I, I, you know, I can't make it um, fill up to the point where it overflows. So I'm gonna put a barrier at the end of each um, runner so obviously the water comes in at this end I'm going to put a barrier here uh, that's just sort of tall enough to allow the water to fill right up and then once it's filled up it'll overflow and uh, it will go on down into the next trough and the same again I'll put a barrier there uh, it'll fill up at, until it gets to a certain depth and then it'll overflow and again onto the third one now what I'll have to do is put two tiny little holes or, or uh, a little tiny gap at the very bottom of the the barrier so that uh, when the water goes off eventually the water will just drain away so um, but obviously you know the water is coming in at such a rate that it's not going to drain away in time while the pump is on and uh, that's the principle I'm going to be working on now all I need to make the barriers is just literally uh, a, a cut shape piece of plastic I've actually found these old uh, takeaway lids uh, you know, if you order a takeaway, they come in these uh, these plastic containers, and these are the lids for them. And I'm literally just going to cut out, uh, you know, a drain-shaped uh, piece of plastic and uh, put it in, and then I'm going to glue it in with a hot glue gun. And uh, so I'm going to do that now, and we'll go from there. So it's taken a lot of adjusting, but I've finally got there. Uh, what happened with this one is um, I literally, I, it, there's no way it was going to fill up as deep as I wanted it to go. So um, what's, what's the main problem is the pump. When the water comes out of the pump, it only comes out at a slow rate. Now the water has to be able to leak out in its own time. So therefore um, it's got to leak out at each point um, so that the, the actual tanks can drain themselves. But in the meanwhile, it's also got to fill up. And 
the small pump that I've got in there, it can't keep up with the flow. So what I've done is I've adjusted it, as, as you can probably hopefully see, um, it is just sort of emptying itself. It takes about half an hour to completely empty. Same here, it's just a little trickle coming out there and that's emptying on its own accord. And like I said, if I come back here in half an hour, that'll be empty and the same for the bottom one. Well, that's interesting. They actually look muddy, uh, but they're not. That's the actual, uh, that's the way they look. So anyway, I'm just going to uh, start adding them now. Okay, so I've finally got there. What I've done is I've filled up uh, all three of the troughs with the Hydrica stuff. And while the pump is running, which it's running now, you can see everything is nice and wet uh, right the way along here. I have a little dig in there, look, there's lots and lots of water. Same on the next level down, lots and lots of water in there. And on the bottom level, uh, we've got lots and lots of water in there. And uh, if we go to the ends, uh, it's, you can see the water level's filled up nicely and it's overflowing out. And uh, the same for the second one. Uh, you can see it's coming, uh, the water level's right up to there and it's coming out quite nicely. And obviously the last level, same again, it's all filled up nicely, and that's while the pump's running. As soon as I turn the pump off, uh, you've got about, if, you, if I, well, in fact, what I'll do is I'll turn the pump off now and I'll come back to it in 30 minutes, and hopefully everything should be, uh, com I wouldn't say completely dry, but uh, the water level should have dropped right down on all three of the troughs. And that's what I'm basing this, uh, this system on. I think it's called um, an ebb and flow system, where you uh, literally say four times a day, I'll just uh, I'll, I'll set the timer on the pump to come on. In fact, it's already come on. It's set to come on at four times a day. So every six hours, uh, the system will turn on for about a quarter of an hour to 20 minutes. Uh, it will flood the whole system, and then it should drain away. And apparently, that's um, I'm no certainly no expert in this, but apparently that's good for the roots because it will encourage the roots to seek out water. It will get lots of aeration or air to the roots, and it will make the roots grow really big, and, and hopefully you get a really good crop out of it. Now obviously the last thing left to do is to put the plant back. You know what? I decided I'm going to do away with the rock wall, okay? Uh, basically, while I was uh, handling the, the roots, the, the, the roots on these things are tiny, they're, they're rubbish, and they were just com constantly um, compacted by the, you know, by the rock wall, and it was just constantly wet all the time. And I really think that because it was always wet all the time, the roots weren't that bothered about going off and finding water, because they've always got water. So what I've done is I've completely stripped away all the rock wall. I've done it on all of these plants now, and uh, literally, I'm just going to, I'm literally just stuck them straight in here and hopefully their roots are gonna because they um, the water's going to appear and then it's going to dry out hopefully the roots are going to start hunting for water that's the plan um, so anyway, I've, I've replanted everything and uh, they've basically got two chances they live or they die but I'm also uh, going to work on some new seedlings and I think uh, I saw a hydroponic video on YouTube where a guy um, he was using this stuff and uh, he had a couple of lettuce seeds that had sort of spilled over the side and they were growing beautifully. So what I might actually do is just drop my seeds, um, you know, lettuce seeds and tomato seeds and things like that straight into uh, this stuff and, uh, and see if it comes up that way. Um, we'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little experiment with that and, uh, and see what happens. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope this was useful to someone. Obviously, if you uh, have experience of this and you've got any advice you want to pass on, then please do feel free to do so in the notes field below. And uh, well, that's it. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.